Who has the biggest contract in global sport? It's not Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi, nor is it Patrick Mahomes. It's actually Shohei Otani, who plays for Major League Baseball's LA Dodgers. So what is it that makes him so valuable? In December, Otani signed a 10-year deal with the Dodgers worth $700 million from 2024 to 2033. Now, our definition of biggest contract means the total value of any current contract of an athlete in a team sport globally for exploits solely on the field. Endorsements and personal sponsorships or extracurricular revenues are not included. Now, there are a few sportsmen who, in 2024, are earning more than Otani's $70 million a year, including Cristiano Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia, but his total deal isn't worth anything close to $700 million. There are also high-earning individuals in other sports, but again, none has a single contract as big as Otani's. Otani turns 30 years old this summer, was born and raised in Japan, and is both an elite hitter and an elite pitcher, an exceptionally rare two-way player in baseball. His $700 million deal is notable not just for being the biggest within a team sport, where cost controls are in place, which highlights his exceptionalism. It is also structured in a way that is unusual that helps the Dodgers and will likely help him in the long term to mitigate some of his tax liabilities. But why is he worth so much? In 2021 and 2023, he was voted the most valuable player in MLB's American League by the Baseball Writers Association of America and was the first man in history to win the MVP award by unanimous vote twice. He was also the MVP runner-up in 2022. All of this despite playing for a team, the LA Angels, who haven't made the postseason for nine years. How? How did he do this? Well, the data makes a compelling case. OPS is a sabermetric statistic calculated as the sum of a player's on-base percentage and their slugging percentage. Essentially, how often do they get on base, and when they do hit the ball, how far do they hit it? In the MLB, an OPS of .8 points you in the upper echelon of hitters. Otani's OPS in 2023, when he hit the most home runs in the American League at 44 total, was an MLB high at 1.066. And across the 2021, 2022, 2023 seasons, he averaged an OPS of 0.964. From the pitcher's mound, ERA, or earned run average, is the average number of earned runs given up by a pitcher per nine innings pitched. An ERA of between 2.0 and 3.0 will put a pitcher among the best in the league, while a level of 3 to 4 is above average. Otani's ERA as a pitcher in 2021, 2022, and 2023 was 3.18, 2.33, and 3.14. So Otani excels at both hitting and pitching in a way that in the modern game is unheard of. In 2021, he pitched 10 innings and made 200 plate appearances in the same season. The last player to do that was the legend Babe Ruth himself in 1919. As well as being one of the fastest players in baseball and having one of the strongest arms, Otani is a true positional unicorn. Otani's contract is also unusual. He will receive only $2 million in annual salary from 2024 to 2023 inclusive, and then $68 million of his annual $70 million salary each year will be deferred. He will get $68 million per year from 2034 to 2043. The wage deferrals were enthusiastically adopted by Otani because they will allow the Dodgers to sign more great players on big wages in the coming years. In Major League Baseball, there is a cap for collective wages of the 26 players on the team's active roster at any given point. That cap in 2023 was $233 million, and in 2024, it will be $237 million. But teams are allowed to spend more as much as they like. That is why so many of the biggest contracts in sport can be found in baseball. But any expenditure over that cap figure is hit with a luxury tax on a sliding scale upwards depending on how much you spend above the cap and for how many years. CBT income is then redistributed across baseball. By deferring $68 million of Otani's $70 million annual salary over the next 10 years, his Dodgers salary over the next decade won't count as $70 million per season for CBT reasons, but as $46 million per season. Why? 
Simplifying the explanation as much as possible, the MLB considers that $68 million Otani will receive in deferred income in 2034 as worth only $44 million in 2024. In other words, if the Dodgers put $44 million in the bank today and let it accrue interest until 2034, it would be worth $68 million then. So, Otani's actual salary of $2 million in 2024 plus his $68 million salary for 2034 worth $44 million in 2024 counts as only $46 million towards the Dodgers cap spending this year. With Otani as a star player and other stars joining him because the Dodgers have leeway to spend more because of Otani's deferred income, it becomes more likely that on-field success will follow. That, in turn, will bring the Dodgers more revenue. From selling more tickets per game to jersey sales and club sponsorship deals, not the least of which from Japan-facing brands and from tours and extra media exposure. Otani may benefit personally from deferring most of his Dodgers income because tax laws in the U.S. say a state cannot impose income tax of retirement income of a person who isn't the resident of that state. If by 2034 he has left California, or indeed the U.S., he might be able to argue that his $68 million a year for the next decade is retirement income. Or maybe it will become a legal tussle. Time will tell. The bottom line is he signed the most lucrative sports contract of all time. The Dodgers can afford it because there isn't, in reality, a hard cap in baseball. And because they can gamble, it will be worth it on and off the field for the team and for Otani too. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to the best team of sports writers, reporters, and analysts in the world, offering exclusive stories and unrivaled insight. You can try The Athletic for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.